Kamusta? My name is Moon and today we're going to talk about the second episode of my series in How to Booktube where I'm going to talk about making consistent uploads and creating unique content. Although I know I'm not the best in the technical aspects of making a video, I'm actually still proud that I make consistent uploads and create unique content. At least that's what other people say. And that's why I decided to make this video so that I can help people out there who are struggling in those aspects. Like my first How to Booktube videos, I'm going to make a list of tips. However, unlike the first one, the tips here will be listed in a consecutive order, meaning you must follow it from the very first one to the last. You can't follow the steps willy-nilly. Also, please do remember that we are very different and the steps might not work for you. So this video is actually divided into two parts. The very first one is the creation of unique contents and the second one is the making of consistent uploads. So let's start with the creation of unique contents. I have three tips here and the very first one is think of the brand that you want to show in your channel. So let's start with the very basic stuff. For example, you want to be known as this booktuber who is very consistent in making book reviews and skits and etc. You can make that as your brand. However, if you also want to have a book as your brand, you can also do that. I'm actually still looking for mine because when I start this channel, I'm actually hoping to have Harry Potter as my brand. However, since the author is very questionable as of late, I decided to stop that and actually look for other books. The second the second one is make segments about this brand. So what I meant about segments is that the basic stuff, for example, book reviews, reading blogs, readathons, and all of that stuff. So after you have covered the basic stuff, you must also place the segments in your YouTube playlist so that you can organize it. So for example, I have this playlist entitled Discussions and Thoughts where I have placed my book reviews and bookish discussions. Second one, I have this playlist entitled Tags and Games where I have placed the tags, games, and challenges which I I accepted. I also have this playlist, Reading Blogs and Readathons, where I place my reading blogs and readathons. After that, place your video ideas in those segments. So the biggest statement in this part is that, Moon, I don't have video ideas. That's where research comes in. And I'm not talking about the basic research in Google because that is like the surface. I'm talking about watching videos from YouTube creators and I'm not just talking about watching videos in the booktube community. As much as possible, watch videos from the other communities. Communities. There is the study tube community, there is the productivity community, there is the beauty community, there is the commentary community, there is the gaming community. Basically, there are a lot of niches in YouTube where you can watch videos. Personally, I am very inspired in the study tube community, productivity community, and commentary community. Most of my video ideas came from those. So let's go to the second part of this video, which is making consistent uploads. So the very first thing I did is that make a monthly and weekly calendar for your videos. And starting from there, I then post my video ideas each week. As much as possible, place a video per week. The second one is that if you have the time, if you have the capacity, film the videos a few weeks or a few days before the deadline. It will give you ample time to edit and promote, which is like the tedious process in making a video. Well, personally for me. So that's it for this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have opinions, please comment it down below and let's discuss. Also, I do hope that I helped even just a little bit and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys! No, 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 no.